The mind needs a place to settle down, otherwise it's wandering around all the time. Like a homeless person, exposed to the sun, exposed to the rain, not really safe. Because the mind likes to wander, but then it gets itself into trouble. So you need a safe place you can go whenever the thoughts get dangerous, when they give rise to greed or aversion or delusion, or they get you really upset, really worked up. You need a place to step out of them. And that's what the breath provides. It's here all the time. When you're with the breath, you know you're in the present moment, and you're with the body. You're with the sensations of the body, and that pulls you out of the pure thought worlds, gives you a little bit of perspective. And the more solidly you can stay with the breath, and the better that perspective becomes. So take this opportunity to find a little retreat inside. People come to the monastery for a retreat from things out in the world, but then, of course, their thoughts follow them. The texts make a distinction between physical solitude and mental solitude. With physical solitude, you're away from other people, but you still got all your little friends inside. And all your, not all your friends are all that well-meaning. There's that science fiction story of the astronauts in a rocket visiting different planets, and they had a little meter on the, on the rocket to tell if the inhabitants were friendly or not. They landed on this one planet, and the friendliness meter was way up to the top, just pegging out. And the little, these little furry critters were, critters were all around. They came running up the side of the rocket, and they just seemed to be just full of love. And so the rocket Astronauts opened the door, and the little critters came in and ate them up. <laughs> they loved them so much. <laughs> so watch out. Some of your little furry thoughts are, have teeth. So you need a place to get away from them, your safe place here. So when you have your physical solitude, try to have some mental solitude as well, pulling yourself out of your thought worlds. And just say, I'm just with my breath. Whatever the thoughts are saying, I don't have to listen to it. I'm going to stay right here with the breath. Create a sense of well-being with the breath. And then you can deal with the, the teeth in your thoughts a lot more effectively. 